Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Force here. It is time once more for some StarCraft II commentary. Today we will be looking at a game between Millennium and EG de Muslim. We're in the map Shakuras Plateau. Starting off in the lower left-hand spawn position, we have got our blue Terran player, EG de Muslim. He is currently the 40th ranked Grandmaster on the US ladder with 356 wins, 136 losses, giving him a 72.36% win ratio. His opponent over here in the upper right hand corner, our red Protoss player is Millennium. And unfortunately, I could not find any information on him. I know it's sad, it's terrible, it's the worst thing ever. Just going to assume that he is at least somewhat comparable, if not Grandmasters, than a master level player. Because of course he is playing to Muslim, who is a Grandmasters player. Um, but again, no specific stats for him. So sad, if anyone has that information, please feel free to drop it in the comment box below. So if we do any further commentaries with, with Millennium, I've got some sort of a reference point for him. Alrighty, the Muslim looks to be starting off with that wall off up front. So we'll be going Supply Depot racks and then finishing that off with the Supply Depot. Uh, right after dropping his gateway, probably going to assume Millennium is going to move out to Scout. And there it is, uh, Millennium now pushing out across the map. He's going to actually firstly be checking that upper left-hand spawn position. Uh, so with that, he will not be scouting to Muslim right away unless he changes route. But he had initially had him queued up to go there to the upper left. And is he still going there? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he is going upper left. So unfortunately there, a Millennium momentarily had him uh, slated to go to the lower left position. At which point he would have scouted out to Muslim. Got there just before that Rax finished. Unfortunately, that is not the case now as he decided to check upper left first. And he'll be going in just far enough to see if there's a command center and realizing it's not there. Boo, hightails it out of there. I'm not sure why that sound effect was necessary for hightailing it out of there, but it was. It certainly was. Let's see where that SCV goes for Namazam. Is he going lower right? Yeah, both players, uh, unfortunately enough, scouting the incorrect position firstly. We get that first Marine coming out. Pro will be making it into the main base and looks like he's actually decided to head on down and harass this SCV as the Muslim is going one racks expand. Millennium attempting to delay that. First Marine pops out, will be forcing the probe all the way back and now he will be guarding that frontal ramp, allowing the Muslim to safely get that expansion up and running. Now, of course, we are gonna need to see for the Muslim some bunker placement up front, otherwise he's gonna deal with that rallied gateway Already we get that Zealot moving in that direction. We should be seeing a Stalker coming out immediately after that as well. So definitely going to need a bunker. Uh, certainly no question about that. And there you go, the Muslim now placing that bunker down. We've got an expansion coming out over here from Millennium. He will be going one gate expand in response to seeing that one racks expand from the Muslim. The Muslim will have that bunker up in time, so he will be all set. In fact, he's going to have that up there before the Zealot even makes it there. So uh, this early game aggression from Millennium, unfortunately, won't be doing much for him. And interestingly enough, we actually saw no Stalker follow-up. Instead, Millennium deciding to hold on to his resources uh, rather than coming up immediately with that Stalker. We got a Stalker finally, but again, a bit delayed. This allowed him to get that Nexus up a bit quicker. Of course, he was also able to start that Warp Gate research right away. All that sort of fancy jazz there. Zealot, it looks like he didn't engage with that bunker, pulled back after losing his shields, decided, hey, that's definitely not worth it. We have two more racks coming on through. One refinery is up. That is now fully saturated, so he is going to be able to start teching up after this. Got two options from this point. The fact that he's going so racks heavy is going to lead me to believe that he will be just getting a tech lab and going for some upgrades as opposed to teching up to factory starport anytime soon. If he did plan to go to a factory starport sometime soon, you wouldn't expect to see four racks here. So that's basically uh, leading my assumption there, the fact that he is so racks heavy at the moment. Just churning out those Marines early on, he is of course working on that SCV production, trying to get that natural expansion nice and saturated. The Zealot and the Stalk are now in the center of the map. Uh, this is going to allow Millennium to have map control and see if anything's coming. Looks like he will be using the Stalker to poke and prod just to check what's going on. Again, he knows about this. He knows about the bunker, so he realizes he won't be able to do much about that. And now actually just chilling out right out front into Muslim's base. This will let him see one of two things. One, if an SCV tries to pull down to move down to that third to drop an expansion. But much more likely what he's looking for, of course, is when the Muslim pushes out and what he pushes out with. And the good thing is that Stalker is so fast, as long as he doesn't get hit by concussive shells, if he sees Marines and Marauders, he can actually pull back home without losing it at all. So, got a pro moving out across the map. And maybe seeing a little bit of early game aggression here from Millennium. Now he does have three gateways, so yeah. Could very well be seeing some three gate aggression here from him. 
Uh, robotics facility also coming on through. So everything's looking pretty standard here for Millennium. He's uh, protecting himself over here with a nice sentry spread, stopping. Going to try to stop anything that might come through. Millennium saying WTF. Uh, I am just going to assume that there's some lag, and there it is. Yeah, some lag and jazz there. <laughs> A whole bunch of conversation going on between the two. So you can see Millennium is planning at least the possibility of coming out with some sort of a push here. Back over here for Demalsum, he is still just on the racks and he's even coming out with another expansion. So again, as you can see in Gonso Racks Heavy, really delayed that tech up. He is finally now getting a factory, which will allow him to move up into Starport, getting that double medevac. All these Marines pushing out, the two Stalkers are still alive. He got one kill out of that. He's weakening up those Marines, and that's a great thing with these Stalkers early on. With that speed and range advantage, you can really soften up the Marines, even getting another kill there. So now with one kill apiece there for the two Stalkers. Zealot heading back home as well. Millennium, he's got plenty though. He should be all set to defend himself. There's a Guardian Shield. Nice target fire though by the Muslim. He gets that sentry immediately. Not enough energy for any more Guardian Shields. Nice combat shield early push here from the Muslim. Trying to do as much damage as possible. Some micro again. Nice and close. Drops another sentry. Okay, really close to dropping those Stalkers as well. Millennium though with some micro pulling back that inter Stalker. He is now all set. Muslim's push has been taken care of. All right, take a quick look here at the resources lost. Looks like the Muslim is slightly behind after that engagement. And yeah, obviously, as we can see there, didn't kill off any workers either. So unfortunately for the Muslim, that really wasn't the most effective push for him. Still got his racks churning out units. Bring that production tab up. There we go. Marine Marauder, Stimpak, Concussive Shell, all that stuff coming out. We do have that third that we noticed earlier. So the Muslim is uh, firstly going to be saturating that main in the natural, but once he feels comfortable, should be pushing out to a third after that. Looks like we may be seeing some counter aggression here from Millennium at the same time, working up to a Twilight Council. One Marine trying to grab the Zelnaga Tower. He gets taken care of by all those Stalkers. We do have that Observer will be pushing into the main, and he'll just be spawning all those production buildings. Should be able to scout out that... Where is that expansion? What the heck's going on? There we go, the Muslim is now going to be pulling that up to the third position. That is going to get spotted here by this pylon of Millennium, so Millennium will know that that is coming down. Observer moving in the main. He's going to spot all these racks, churning out units. He pretty much expects that, though. He's looking for anything fancy other than that. Did he see the two engineering bays? I'm not entirely sure. He saw at least one of them. Stalker's pulling down to engage that orbital command as, again, he spotted that with his pylon. Trying to push out to defend that to Muslim. However, he is a little short here. So he needs to be a little careful. Wants to make sure he doesn't push out too preemptively. Has to also keep in mind that there will be warp in of units here. He knows that this is there, so just needs to be aware of that. It looks like he can push down and deal with that right now, though. Observer will be spotting the expansion, trying to keep an eye on that force there, right out front of the natural. Millennium does have a third up himself. He's getting some cannons down there. A little bit of static defense and also transferring on over a bunch of workers. Factory Scout will be spotting that very shortly. It looks like a Marine Scout will check it firstly, though, as he is making his way across to third. Oh, never mind. He pulls back, grabs the towers. So the Factory Scout is what's going to be spotting this expansion over here. We're going to be seeing a some sort of an engagement sometime very soon as the Muslim is pushing out across the map. And we do have Millennium trying to get that charge upgrade coming through. It's very close. Might be able to finish this in time. Yeah, I think he is going to be all set. Should have that charge upgrade that's going to help him tremendously. Also, we've got Psy Storm coming out, so we will be seeing some High Templar shortly. Stimming up. He spotted the expansion he is going for. We're going to see Charge Zelt from the backside, though. I'm not sure what this bio is going to be able to do. Now, he can drop a Nexus very quickly, killing off a few of the units, then going for some workers. Here come the Charge Zealots, plus Stalkers and Sentries. He's going to kill off so many workers, though. The Muslim doing a lot of damage here, then going straight for the Nexus. Here come the Charge Zealots, though. Oh, that stimmed up bio is going to tear through, and unfortunately, Zealot's not able to get a full surround. That was really bad for him. Nice force build walls, though, allowing the Zealots to get up a bit closer. And with another wave of units here, Millennium is able to mop up the rest of it. Excellent defense there by Millennium. Now, he did lose quite a bit, though. You can see right now there, he's actually a little bit behind, whereas before, the Muslim was the one behind. He also lost 19 probes in that engagement. Really, really hurt him there. Millennium is likely going to want to do some sort of counter-aggression. Not immediately. I don't think he's got quite enough forces. But at some point, he is going to want to push out because uh, he needs to do some damage. Most certainly. But again, pretty decent defense. I mean, he saved the Nexus, which is obviously the most important thing. Losing a ton of workers certainly didn't help him, but saving the Nexus is great. Viking moving across the map. That's quite interesting. We got a Medivac actually pulling on down in this position. Nice pylon placement over here from Millennium. It's going to allow him to warp in on this side of the map, do a little bit of harassing here of this expansion. That could be very, very effective. 
Medivac will be dropping a bunch of Marines here in back of the resource line. He might be tearing through a ton more probes. That could be really, really bad. Saw a Viking land back here. <laughs> Try to harass the resource line. Zealots take care of that quickly. We're going to be seeing some Archons coming on into play. Lots more gateways. Got some upgrades coming out over here as well. This is going to be the 2-2 upgrades for Millennium. Marines still haven't done anything over here. We do have uh, some sort of aggression coming out here from Millennium as he is preparing to push out across the map. The Muslim has plenty of bio though, so Millennium is going to want to be careful. More charged zealots coming from that direction. Force fields preventing the Muslim from chasing down his units there with that stem. There are the Marines right now. Marines and Medivac stemmed up in the back of the resource line, tearing through the workers and more damage. 32 workers killed now so far. Marines now dropping on the high ground. Those charged zealots going to have a hard time with a little bit of Medivac and Marine micro. Stimming up, snipes a high Templar. Very nice there by the Muslim. And again, the Muslim still over here, still doing damage. High Templar gets warped in there at the low ground. Again, not enough energy initially. There's a nice feedback though, softening up that medevac. Stalkers come in, get the snipe. Let's make sure he gets vision to the high ground though. There we go, finally Stalkers moving up. Vision to the high ground, finally has enough to take care of those Marines. The Muslim takes, takes out the pylon there, so slowing up any aggression we may be seeing from Millennium, Millennium is pulling out with another pylon. He is uh, really, really determined to get something going here soon. Demosum is planning a fourth right now. We have got Blink Research as well as the 3-3 upgrades coming out for Millennium. Factory Scout still kind of chilling out over here. Still no real aggression from Millennium. He's actually pulling up and scouting with the worker. He's going to get a full scout of that third. And more importantly, he's going to be seeing this fourth right here. So drops a pylon. He spotted the fourth. The pylon's gone. He's going to be forced to cancel that factory so annoying <laughs> i keep checking over there i'm like oh is there a drop going on and then i realized that is a gigantic blurb on the mini map there's no way that's a medevac unless that was the largest medevac ever now we did see a war prism come on through and we'll have to keep an eye on that there it is should be seeing some drop harass here from millennium you don't see this often enough i tell you from protoss players zealot bombing can be very effective and uh, hopefully millennium it's going to be able to put this to good use and do quite a bit of damage. Hefty, hefty bio ball. We do have that transition into Ghost right now as well from Demuslim. Demuslim is 2-2, working up the weapons level 3 upgrade. Also got the personal cloaking coming out there for those ghosts. It's going to help them actually kind of sneak up on Millennium. Nice feedbacks there. He ended up getting sniped, but I think he killed, what, two? Two ghosts at least. That might be even three. I'm not certain, but man, he at least got a few kills in that. Very, very nice. Another expansion coming out over here from Millennium. We still have this War Prism over here. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll be seeing an engagement very shortly. Charge Zealots, Archons, Guardian Shield from the Sentries. Still have that High Templar chilling out here. He's going to try to get some feedback, to land some storms, whatever. He gets one snipe to the face. Second snipe takes him out. Stalker's blinking forward. There's an EMP right on the bulk of the army right there. Millennium needs to be careful. Beautiful concave. Nice storms, though. Blanket storms doing a bit of damage over there. Some more storms. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was beautifully placed on all of the bio. Very, very injured bio right now. Another storm or two is going to do significant damage here. The Muslim chasing down Millennium's units, though. Millennium heading all the way back here to his natural and third expansion. War Prism still doing nothing. Want to see that come to use at some point. There you go. Pulling forward with some more reinforcement charge zelts. Engaging the Muslim in the center of the map. The Muslim unit so softened up. Another storm does some massive damage. The Muslim taking really heavy damage here from storms. Almost every unit here is in the red. He's got a few in the orange, but they are not going to last very long at all. As Millennium is able to mop up the Muslim in the center of the map. Some impressive storm placements. Very unfortunate positioning there for the Muslim, especially the engagement we saw here with that storm that literally landed on everything that he had in the center of the map. Millennium against some more High Templar, maybe throwing down a few more Archons or just saving up some energy for some future storms. He is actually starting to work his way into the shield upgrade as well. Shield level 1, he's done those 3-3 upgrades. Finally taking, uh, making use of that War Prism, warping in some Zealots over here. A couple of Zealots going to go straight for the SCV line. Other one's going to move down over here. This is really dangerous. Saw so an attempted push from the center though. So many close ghosts, you need to be very, very careful about that. Zealots still doing a bunch of damage over here. Let's take a look at that. He's uh, actually only killed off 15 workers, so I guess that wasn't that impressive. But still, doing a little bit of economic damage. Probably wants to head on back with this. Uh, please, please head back with this. At the same time, we get a push coming to the front. Blinking forward, taking out some of those ghosts there with the vision of the observer. We get some bio pushing from the other direction as well. Nice storms again, doing a lot of damage. Still have a few cloaked ghosts though. 
And then he is going to continue to warp in here as well. He still has his warp prism up here. More zealots forcing the Muslim off the resource line over there. The Muslim having a really hard time with this. He's got no counter aggression at all going on at the moment either. No dropships moving out. Nothing like this. Uh, Millennium has been the aggressor for quite a while now and still wreaking havoc with these zealots here in the fourth base of the Muslim. So Millennium being very, very effective here with this harass. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so many. Hi, Templar in the center of the map. He warped him in over there with that warp prism. That is really hilarious. <laughs> kind of a dangerous position. He definitely could have been sniped out by some bio, but I guess that bio was a bit distracted as there were still a few zealots remaining. Taking another count, 25 workers killed so far this game. So Millennium trying to claw his way back in it in terms of the number of workers killed. Taking a look at the resources lost, about even with the Muslim slightly behind right now. Millennium finally taking care of that factory over there. War Prism gets dropped, still have the Observer scouting out over here. The Muslim is preparing for another engagement, pushing out. He's got just everything you expect, Marines, Marauders, and Ghosts. Again, some beautiful storms. Really weakening up the Marine count there for the Muslim. That really hurt him. He's going so Marine heavy. Look at that, 15 Marines coming out. And that has been really beneficial for Millennium, who has been sitting pretty high Templar heavy. He's got six at the moment, as he's coming out with a few Archons. But those storms, very, very effective against the Marine. Not as effective against the Marauder, but again, we can see the Muslim is going so Marine heavy, making those storms quite efficient choices there for the Muslim. For Millennium, against the Muslim. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Millennium threatening to Muslim. He's pushed all the way back, realizing he's not quite ready to engage that that exact position. Pulls back to some reinforcement Marines. We've got a Viking transition as well to try to deal with some of those Colossus that we are seeing here from Millennium. Still no counter aggression at all from the Muslim. He is not doing any drops at all. He's too focused on defending himself here at the center of the map. Stimming up and to try to chase down. Millennium decides to pull back and drop the storms again. Effective Psy Storm action here from Millennium this game. Unbelievable. Look at that. Tearing through the bio on the Colossus. Plus Stalkers are going to mop up the rest of this. Muslim doesn't stand a chance here. We'll just barely. <laughs> <laughs> it was close, but Millennium does end up winning. Those blanket storms were really, really beneficial for him. And some reinforcements are going to force these Colossus back. No micro, though, for Millennium. Loses one Colossus. Not a charged Zelda there, though. The Muslim doesn't stand too much of a chance here. He, does, he just doesn't quite have enough. We're seeing consistent reinforcements here for Millennium. So many High Templar coming out again. See if we're going to see any more Archons, or is he going to save those up? Looks like he is saving that up. So how many bases we got right now? We have got five bases here for Millennium, and just the four for the Muslim. That, of course, is a concern. Income-wise, we expect him to be a little bit behind, and he certainly is right now. Millennium having that stronger income at the moment. Taking a quick look at the units, we've got seven High Templar in play, two Colossus, a bunch of Zealots and Stalkers as well. Marine, Marauder, Viking, Medivac, again, everything you expect. And actually, no Ghost right now, really. No ghost right now for the Muslim. He is Sans Ghost. He lacks ghost. Something he needs. He's got two ghosts coming on through right now, and that is going to be the uh, the entirety of it. He's got a third one in production right now as well. Definitely needs to get a few more of those in play. Uh, the, the EMPs, of course, very, very effective. That in addition to the snipe against those High Templar, because he is really, this game to Muslim, has been devastated by Psystorm. It's just been so effective against him. Again, sitting so marine heavy. That storm, very, very effective against those Marines. Shields level 3 coming out here for Millennium. Taking a look at upgrades right now. The Muslim still hasn't got the armor level 3. The infantry armor, he's still on just level 2. He does have those weapons level 3. Millennium over here with a Warp Prism. We'll be doing another round of Warp Prism Harass. Starting off with a single Zealot. <laughs> and then just going from there. One Zealot right now. In one of the few remaining mining bases here for the Muslim. That's going to be a problem. Here we go. Huge engagement in the center of the map. And Blanket Storms take care of everything once again. And the Muslim calls the GG. If you were to ask the Muslim after this game what he thought of Psy Storm, I don't think he'd be the happiest person. Sonic Storm completely ruined his bio this game. Very unfortunate situation for him. Great game, though, between these two players. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.